So, can you still hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Is the music too loud? I can drop it down a notch. Uh, drop it down just a little bit. How about that? Oh, perfect, man. Awesome, awesome. What's going on, bro? Oh, dude, I, I we, we've been hit. Everybody got hit with COVID in my household, so mm. we've been like, yeah. Oh heck. Yeah, brother. Mm. Yeah, that's why I've been like low key. I hear you. I heard it here. <clears throat> you know, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. You all right? You got it, or everybody else got it? No, it it went. Um, let's see, our son had it, then I got it, then Michelle got it, and so now everybody's starting to, you know, once it bees in your system for ten days, you you know, you start feeling a whole lot better. Because at first right. I was having problems breathing, right? You know, I'm like, that's the first time I ever got it, and I was like, whoa, I never want to get that again, right? Mm -mm. Dang. Hey, hey, quick question for you. Yeah. So this uh, today I was looking at the uh, the Asia Open, mm -hmm. and I had um, and actually I missed something on the Asia Open, um, and what it what it actually was was the um, you know how you we were I was looking at that fourteen thirty candle, and I it. it I 1445 or no, 1430? I, I was looking at 1430 candle. Okay. And I saw that it, it um, I thought it had swept going up on the uh, 1445 candle. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Once once I got in the trade, I realized that um, the bodies didn't touch, just the wicks. Right. But the bodies didn't touch, and the bodies need to touch. Right. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So that's so how I, you know if it's a fake out or not. Yep. Yes. And of course, you know it. it I mean, it turned it turned into a fake out, and so because I was thinking it was going to go down, and next minute it popped up because the the um, was that the fifteen hundred candle, it did sweep it and break the low. And so that's the reason why it ended up popping up. And so the the one play would have been if you're if you're doing the Asia Open on that particular play, it would have been just to take it long and right. take it up. You would have got a couple points off of that. And so I missed that. I was like, oh. And it's so funny because once I got in it and I looked at the chart again and I was like, oh, it's the bodies didn't touch. <laughs> and I and I and I got out of it and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. So it made me where it's the detailness. Yes. The, it is. the interaction. It really is. Yeah, with that 1445 candle, just because you see that it goes up, if the bodies don't touch, it's definitely gonna it's a high probability of being some type of fake out or right. some type of delayed reaction. Or a delay, right? They need yeah. to get more orders in, blah, blah, uh -huh. blah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And so that one there, I was like, oh, okay. All right, all right. And then the, the other thing is uh, tonight, because I was I was looking at the midnight open play on the ES, uh -huh. and something that I I looked at, I was like, oh, okay, I saw the if you're looking at the previous day low, I Let saw me get it on the ES. Let me get oh, okay. on the ES because I All haven't right. been on it in a while, so I'm still on NQ. Okay. And, and I, yeah, and so it's kind of funny because I was looking at it and I said, okay, I saw that it took the previous day low out. I was like, okay, all right, so I'm good there. Uh -huh. And I saw that it swept it. I'm good there. But then it becomes a little bit tricky with the Area 51 sweep. It swept it, then it turned back around and reclaimed it in hell, which turned it into a long. Hang on and now, fourteen forty-five candle right now. We're just now getting back to half back of that candle. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. But if if you look at like so, there's two, if you're looking at area fifty-one, mm -hmm. the area fifty-one, the bottom side hit. Yep. All yes. Right? It swept it and got inside of it. Once it got inside of it, it's go to the top side. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so yep. it. So and yeah. And so as I was going through it, I was like, okay, it swept it. Then it came back in, it reclaimed it, and it held. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And so it means it's going to the other side. And I was like, right. oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's an area I've been looking, I'm, I've been really back testing so I can yep. get get my eyes used to that reclaimed piece. Well, that's the thing. If you want to wait till it gets through it and then gets above it, then you know. At that point, you know. Yeah, but that's the confirmation. It it, that's the confirmation. Mm-hmm. Personally, mm-hmm. I like to be in it before then, but if you wait till then, that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and see, I like to get in it before. I do too. I do too. And I really so, do. yeah, and so the reason I was like, I'll, I'll sit there and looked at it, and I was like, and I've been really starting to note note up my charts, so I'm able to go back and see it and see those patterns. Right. And once yeah. I saw, once okay. I saw, yeah, once I saw that it had broke the area 51. Then I was like, okay. And then it okay. came, it, it reclaimed it. And yeah, that's the piece why I'm starting. Did it? Okay, but I'm getting ready to ask you, why did it reclaim it? You got to look left. What's what's the story? Well, there was a couple of things that was going on there. All you right, actually, I'm going to tell you, you need to look at London Open previous day. Look where we're at. So if you look at, let's see here. London Open, that play halfback is at London Open this morning. The halfback is at nine, just to say 91. So what's the okay. low of Asia? We're so, about halfback again at halfback. Ah. Ah. To be along, what's going to cause Asia, I mean, London to buy if they're above halfback of their previous London Open? Oh, so it would need to be above half back. Right, but they're ahead of the game. Midnight, we're hit, We're at midnight. Midnight's above London Open, half back. You see where I'm going with it? And oh. you're above previous day half back. We got everything telling us that we're headed to the upside. Yeah, you're, you're also above previous day mo. Right. So I've been using, and it's kind of funny you said that, because I've been using that also as a guide too. The previous day, if I'm trading Mo, I'm I'm looking at the previous day Mo. The previous the day Mo is going to be if you're trading midnight like tonight. Mm-hmm. Previous day Mo is going to be your line in the sand. Period. If we're above it, we're long. Below it, we're we're selling. Yep, and that's the reason why I've been really starting to use that and use and looking. Um, I do the now I do the Mo halfback, and I will go. If it's if that's another telltale sign, if it's above the mo half back, there's a high probability that it's going to be along. Right. So because so that is Monday Monday open. Basically, mm-hmm. midnight is the week open. It's not so much the Sunday night. It's actually Monday. So because it's a new day. Yeah, it's a new day, but Monday everybody's looking at Monday as the new week. Although we're looking at Sunday, but mon- you know midnight. Sunday night is actually the new day. So that's the start of the week, right? Because that's the trading week, Monday through Friday. Ah, so, so, what, you, so what you're saying is really one Monday of, midnight is very important for the whole week. You're above it, we're long, below it, we're short. Ah, but again, we key off of Thursday. I mean, I, I don't have Thursday on the on the chart here far as uh, fibs, but we're probably in breakout, if I had to guess. From Probably. Thursdays, from Thursday's old day, we are probably, let me put the fibs on it, we are probably in breakout. Let's see. No, we're getting there. We're, we're, we're getting headed close. to Area 51, but we're not there yet. Uh, Area 51, I've got, just roughly putting it on there, is 5709. So we're headed there. They're trying to get there. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. like John said, they're trying to pump this damn thing up in the news on Wednesday. He's not wrong with in his thesis. They're trying to get as high as they can because they're gonna they're gonna sell into it more okay. than likely. You know, when that news comes out. Ah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. 
And you know, another tool I've been using too more is that that thirteen hundred candle. Uh huh. Tell me what you're saying on that. Tell me what you're saying. So everybody sees it differently, but tell me what you're saying. Yeah. So it it it. I mean, because now I'm starting to play more of the midnight open, um, and I play that at I I just play it at clock. If it if if it if it hits my my trigger, uh huh, I take it. If it don't, I'm okay. I don't. I don't, I don't force it. And that's probably been one of the biggest lessons I learned this year is don't force them. Right. Cause I used to just make up as human percent and make up levels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you think you see levels. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So if it, if it's not in my, uh, 1445 or when I take the time and write up my, my plan, if it doesn't hit that level, I don't, I don't even bother because they're, I'm realizing there's too many other good trades right. to get right. get tied up with a bad trade. Right. You exactly. don't really have a plan for it. Mm-hmm. And so when I'm looking at that 1300 candle, like tonight, I knew it was it was going to be a high probability of a long because We're it's above it. It's above the 1300 candle. Right. And so once at you clock. start, mm-hmm. yeah, at clock. <laughs> So yep. once you start combining those, okay, well, we're up above previous day mo. We are above the 1300 candle halfback, mm-hmm. you know, and then you turn back around and you add something like, okay, we're above, you know, the previous day uh, London open. Mm-hmm. Starting to build up, you're starting to get those clues. You got a lot of positives going on for yes. you right now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You, you know, we're, we're able to look at, and I'm like, and then, especially now, when I'm really focusing on the uh, midnight open piece, you know, I put my my Asia, my Asia section half back, and I go if it's above that, there's a high probability it's going to be a long. Yes, because well, you section, are right. Yeah, so the whole you're... from Asia open till midnight. If we're above the half back of that whole session, yes. Yeah, because then you, you know you always bring that that we always had a conversation in regards to high, half back and low. Right. Okay. So two of them are wrong. Right. So I knew tonight that high and low was wrong. We're yep. at halfback. Uh-huh. So there's a high probability that it's going to be a long. And then you right. add those clues in there. It's above the 1300 candle. Yep. It's above uh, previous day mo. It's above yep. the LO. Yep. And then I turned back around and I looked over and I, I looked at that 1445 candle and it's above the previous day low. Yeah. So I was like, "Oh yeah, this this is definitely it's right. gonna." And then it All touched, right. it touched yep. area fifty one. So I was like, oh, "That's high probability it's gonna go to the other side." Yeah, and because we're back inside of it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right. So everything that you just said, now apply that to the one p.m. reversal. So it's gonna be the exact opposite. Ooh. So if it's below it. <laughs> Right, because that's full circle. Yeah, see where I'm going with it. Yeah. So, so if that's it's correct for one a.m. or whatever for for, for midnight. midnight open or for mm-hmm. the one one p.m. in the afternoon, it's going to be the same for the one a.m. as well. Oh, wow. You see where I'm going with it because that's yeah. full circle. But yeah, just what you just said, apply it to one p.m. It's the same. Ooh. So what so does that then, mean? Because if you're above or below London, London close, right? Because that's our last that's our last marker, right? London close. Not so much London open, but our last marker. Ah. So then for the reverse, you're going to be looking at London close, above London close. Yep. So Uh, it's 1300 above London close today. Yes. Okay. Did it go continue up? Yeah, it did. Yep. Yep. Into that 1445 candle. That is your clue. You got to be out at 1445 when that candle is done. Ah, I can't believe I'm giving this shit up. 
<laughs> so to reverse it, that's going to be a 1 p.m. Uh -huh. It needs to be above the London clothes. Uh-huh. It needs to be... Uh -huh. You need to be out by 1445 candle because that's going to create our high, the 1445. Okay. And it'll be the opposite if it's below it. If it's below London close, then 1445 candle is going to create the low. So now what's the key to that London close? If, what do you mean? If, That's the last clock. So London close is last clock. Uh-huh. Like today, let me see, how did I play that? I looked at that. London closes our last clock, but going into Asia, we're actually looking at New York clock. So what side got hit first on New York clock? The bottom side did. Bottom so, we, side. Mm -hmm. so we should be headed to the top side at 5705. That should be our target on the yes. Why do I know that? Because that was area 51. We came uh -huh. back inside of it at London close. We were at the low. London close was at the low of New York session. So yep. where are we going? We're going through the high side. Yeah. Why? Because we done swept London open. They hit target. So now they're trying to get, London is going to try to get back to the other side on the top side of London. New York first, then London. That's the progression. Those are the last two clocks. London close, New York, London open. That's your progression backwards. Okay. And then midnight open. But we're already above midnight open, right? Mm-hmm. We're already above London open. Yep. We're already above New York. We're already above New York high. Well, we're getting right, we're knocking on it. We're in the wicks right now. All right. We're at we're above Asia open. Globex open and true Asia open. We're above it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're above previous day half back. And yet, which is Monday, right? Because that's the uh, that's our key for the whole week. So if we're above Monday halfback, then it's we're going to the top side. Yeah. So above Monday halfback, and we're above Sunday open. They swept Sunday open, and we're above it. It's the same. It's the so, same thing. If you take the low from Sunday and the high New York made today, let me put a fib on it. The low Sunday and the high of that. Yeah, we're above half back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Area 51 is 57.12 just on that fib, which is New York's second target to the top side. Ah. If you okay. look at the you, you got this script to where the, the session bubbles and everything that I post, right? I think you got that script. No, the script that I have is the one. No, I don't have that one that you're talking about. Okay. The one, one I have is the trend reversal. See, here's the thing. We had Ross do this script, but but nobody knew how to trade the fucking script. So... What have I been doing since Ross has been gone? I've been dissecting this script. So I'm already seeing what I'm telling you tonight is stuff that I've already been collecting off of this script. Mm -hmm, now, scripts mm -hmm. are useless if you don't know how to trade the script. Yes. Those, you know what I'm saying? Those levels that it's spitting out don't mean, mean nothing if you don't understand it. Yeah, because I know so I've been trying to figure it out. Trying to figure, uh -huh. okay, I'm just trying to figure out the progressions. What's mm -hmm. it doing? And so far, that's, that's what I've come up with so far. But we are above Sunday open, then, you know, 
It's going to the top side till it don't go no more. Yeah. And who's going to sell it more than likely? It's going to be in New York. New York, New York. is the king. They yep. set the table on the sell side. So, and we, where was London closed today? At the low. At the low. Yeah. So that should be, did London close on Monday at the high or at the low? That's what you need to ask yourself. Because if London close, closed at the high on Monday, then we're more than likely headed down for the week. But if London close was at the low, we're more than likely headed up. And we know why we're headed up because we got news coming on Wednesday. So they're going to try to run it up as high as they can. I was looking at, let me see. So right now our target, our actual target to the top side is 57, 58. It might take a couple of days to get there, but that's the actual target that we're trying to get to. Yeah, that may take a little time to get there. Because once we get above area 51 on Sunday, she gone. On on the low from Sunday open. I only did it from the low on Sunday open to the high the closing high today. I didn't take it from the actual low of New York. So I'm being very conservative. So area 51 is 5731. So we know if we get above zero of that fib, which is the high, 5702.75, we get above that high, we gone. Now, will it be a fake out? It, they could, because area 51 is 57.12. So they could hit it and then pull back and then take off. Okay. It, it depends where we are at plot. That's why I'm trying to explain to everybody. You know, it's not a straight line to get there. So that's why it's important to look at the clocks. And that's why I say, where are we at plot? Yeah. And the honest, and this is my thought process, the only way, because it took me a little time to get there, because now I'm much more comfortable trading at clock and just breaking it up and going, okay, I got I'm three pulling options. the trigger, right? And yeah, I'm pulling I, the trigger, and I'm pulling the trigger. I already know it. I mean, like tonight, half back, I was like, I was ready. The only thing is, my I was like, my entry would have been a fifty-six thirty-five, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, if it hits it, I'll take it. If it don't, right, I didn't take it. And so it actually, when it opened up, it just went above it, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm okay. I don't, I don't. I mean. Could have, is it a good trade? I mean, yeah, it worked, but it. I'm tr I'm really focusing on becoming much more a discipline trader. Right. If it doesn't hit, if it doesn't hit my trigger, I don't even bother with it. Right. Because I know there's tomorrow. Right. Or the next session, or the next clock. Mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so for me, I mean, I I like now I'm doing uh the annual review of my trades, and I'm like the biggest thing is the trades that I lost on are the ones I forced. Right. If I took the time and if it if it hits my trigger and take it, there's about a 90 90 percent win rate on that. Yeah. So now that I'm I'm breaking it down and understanding it, I'm like, okay. And then you turn back around and if you need confirmation, you just build out your clues. Mm -hmm. And that's where leveraging the 13, at it. Yeah. yeah. Lever you know, looking left, leveraging the tools that you got. Is it below previous day or is it, you know, previous day low or is it above previous day high? You got 1300 candle. We mm -hmm. even got the 12 noon candle you can mm -hmm. look at. Sure. Um, so, you know, the previous day midnight right, open. Because 12 noon is our true half back, right? If we're mm -hmm. trading midnight open, that means 12 noon is our half back. Yes. But so. that's where it's so funny because you had mentioned something to me about the uh, uh, leveraging uh, the 12 noon candle along with 1800 candle mm -hmm. and above that above the half back it's going to be along below it's uh -huh. 12 yeah 12 to yeah. 1 yeah but you know you, you have like you said a lot of clues yes if you take the time to stack it 
and you 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 stack those clues combined with where you at at clock, mm -hmm. you're gonna win on the trade. Yep. If you read it correctly, you're gonna win every damn yeah. time. I'm telling yeah. you. But if if you're stacking them, like tonight, I mean, you know, Ray Charles gonna see that this was gonna be long. <laughs> Uh, no, you know, you'd be surprised. No, I guarantee you somebody out there shorting it. Yeah, but you got all of the clues. Even mm -hmm. if we just go and just say we're just gonna go with the with the Stingham line. It was yeah, I was even getting some uh, flack about the Stingham line. Somebody, somebody told me Stingham line was horse shit. No, <laughs> no, I, I mean, but you can take one thing, sure, and build your thesis around it. Well, sure, you can. And Above you, it, I'm you going add, below it, I'm going short. Yeah, period. You add some supporting characters. It's above the age of open session, mm -hmm. halfback. Mm -hmm. We instantly know. Okay, again, high, low, halfback. We're at halfback. You, it's above it. You're gonna take that long. We should be headed to the top side. Mm -hmm. Should be. It already touched the bottom of the, the area 51. Yep. And so if it's a half back, it. could it go back down to the, the area 51? Yeah, but there's a higher yeah. probability it's going to go up to the, uh, it's, it's going to start pushing up to the one the 151. Yep. To the top side. To the top side. So it's which little is 14, things like that. Which is 1445 candle ultimate target. Yes. Which is 5712. That's our ultimate target. So when I'm now when I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So we know if we get above there, we, we definitely we, we a breakout. Oh yeah. Then we a then, then you're able to add on. Then okay, well, you're able to say, okay, every pullback, I know I can get in and take a trade. Every pullback, mm -hmm. I'm waiting on it. The the mm -hmm. last candle that took out the high and do a low high half back. I, this is where I'm expecting it to come back to. Yes. Entry, kill it. And that's where the scalping comes in. Yeah, there's nothing see, I, wrong I, with that. There's nothing yeah. wrong with the scalping. I do it. I, I still scalp some. If I can scalp 10, 15 points on NQ, and I know that I can come back again and, and get the same entry. But that that's the reason why when, when you were we were talking about that one kid, I was like, uh, if he stay around, you have to have conversations to set the foundation. Yeah. And and the reason for that is. You know, I've talked to both you and John. John is a scalper. He's, yeah. he's a pure scalper. You don't do a lot of scalping. You're kind of like, you know your chart. I'm about to play. You're right. I'm about, about to, to play, play for the you actual set block it. in section. Yep. Yeah, you're going to set it and let it be. Whatever happens, going to happen. Right. But you know your technical analysis, and you, you don't stack your deck. It ain't like right. you're just going in there. Right, right. You know, because I, I forgot who I was talking to. Um, from our room previously that was in, that was in a room at the time. And I told him, I said, you know what I'm really realizing? It's just like a card game. You just got to stack your deck. Mm -hmm. If you stack it along with your thesis. What's the, what's in your favor? Remember yeah. what I said, Area 51 gives you the high probability. The setup gives you the high probability play if you pay attention to it. Now, and I take it one step further, taking the time, like now, when I've been, with my back test, I've been really breaking down how, when it comes into that area 51, did it, did it sweep through it? And then if it swept through it, what did the next candle do? Bodies, think about it. Bodies, the, did the, the body bodies. get above it? If it didn't, mm -hmm. then that's a fake out. Yes. If the body, the next candle body closed <clears throat> above it, then we know they want to go to that side. And now, you can know, they still pull back? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But what I was missing was the close. Right. The close, the close of the candle. It's the close of the candle. Mm -hmm. And I know you had gave me some feedback on one of my traits, and you was like, everything was right, but you missed the close of the next candle. Right. That's what told us what it was going to do. Right. So, I mean, I'm, I take Copeland's notes because I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Was the wicks longer on that second candle? Yeah. But the close was above the, right. the, the you know, the main candle. And I was like, right. oh, okay, no wonder it reacted that way. It's right. the close and you're leveraging the bodies. Right. That, that's the reason why I was telling you that. Oh, man, I, 
once I sent the chart over, I was like, oh. Yeah, because that's how they disguise things. And a lot of times that's how they disguise the higher low and, and, the, and the lower low. But once you the start wick, to under- the wick will actually sweep, but the body didn't. Yes. So it looks like it's a lower low, but it wasn't. It was actually a higher low. <laughs> yeah. But or that's the reason why on the high. But that's the reason why you were telling me you gotta look at the body. The and you small look details. It goes back to the small details that yeah. nobody looks at. They don't think it's, it's the, the, the body and the clothes, because I've been burnt with those wicks. Mm-hmm. That's the reason now I don't really I don't yeah, really especially on the NQ, you'll get burned on that. Yeah. Wick. And and see, I I mean I look at the NQ and I go, whoa, that one wick is like 30 points. And you go, okay, all right. So you better be, like you say, you have to be meticulous on your entries on that. I'm, I'm able to have a little bit more leeway on the ES, but my entries are starting to get much better because yep. I'm like, if it's not part of the 1445. And I'm looking at the Asia or the midnight. Yeah, 1445 is our, our thermometer starting out, period. Yeah. And so if it doesn't hit one of those ranges and it's or last candle print. Same yes. thing. And, yeah. So and and so now I'm starting to go, okay, if it's not part of that, then you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay yep. not taking the trade. And I even been playing with um what did I use the other day? I think I did use 1445 on a London close. It still works for the whole day because if it hadn't hit range yet on the 1445, yeah, they're working up to it. Yes, they're working up to it. Remember what I said? It has to hit range first. If it don't hit range of 1445, it definitely ain't going to hit fucking range of London close range. Yes, and you know what I end up doing? I end up expanding out the chart. I think it was either a negative 251. Or negative three fifty one. I just expanded expanded the range out for the fourteen forty five, and it, I think it, it was a negative two fifty one. It's probably two fifty one because that's as far as I go. The two fifty one yeah. is it. It probably was a negative two fifty one, and it hit it. Because that gives um, you three three divi three deviations of area fifty one. Mm-hmm. So it's fifty one one fifty one two fifty one. Yes, and honestly, that's all you really need. Yeah, I mean, if we're doing that in a you know a whole day, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. And if I remember right, that's what I ended up doing. I was meaning to tell you, I just extended it out to the two fifty one, and picked it up, and it was at the bottom of the London close, and it rolled. That's forward. why I say you could use the previous day fizz if you don't have time to set up the next day. You can still use the previous day. Yeah. You're still going to be in 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 sync. Yeah, because I I have not been really using. I used the London close range halfback as a barometer. Yeah. Um. But the fourteen forty five has been giving me okay. for Asia open. And then another thing. Midnight. Huh. And another thing. New York open. If New York open is our line in the sand, period. That means we need to be above New York open previous day to be along, right? Mm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, there's so many ways that you could slice it and dice it. But we know we got three sessions. We got Asia open, we got London open, we got New York open. But it's important when we start Asia, it's the last session. That's where the that's where the progression starts going backwards. So that means our first look is uh, New York. Mm-hmm. Be above New York, 6 a.m., period. If we are, then we head it up. If we're not above 6 a.m., New York, we're headed down. Because that is our last session. Yeah, and, and what I, I, you know what, uh, what you mentioned, I will actually start looking more at the 6 a.m., and seeing how it's reacting to the fourteen forty-five, um, the well, fifth fourteen on that. forty-five better. The fourteen forty-five candle better be above six a.m. Mm. to continue up. Period. So that that'll be it's above previous day high to continue. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, well, it needs to be above six a.m. 
school. Because oh. 6 a.m. is going to be your halfback. <laughs> 6 a.m. is the halfback of New York. Oh, wow. Okay. Because that's your line in the sand for the New York That's market. the line in the sand always. Mm -hmm. You see where it, it's crazy. Like London, like London's always going to be at halfback. 6 a.m. is always going to be at halfback. Globex Open or Asia Open is going to always be at halfback. However you look at it and dice it, it's always going to be, it's always going to be a halfback. It's crazy. Yeah, and you know, like, like, but remember the low, the halfback, and the high—they're all halfbacks, right? Because if it breaks the high, then we 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 lay another block, right? Uh -huh, so uh -huh. they. So the high becomes halfback at that point, right? Because we can come out of that range. Once we come out of that range of the first block, we lay another block. Ah. Right? That's how you, that's the progression of the range. It's not that I'm just drawing blocks. The blocks yeah. are actually, when price gets above the first block, you lay another block, that is the next range. If that if that low of that block if, if that second block fails, which is the high of the first block, we're back inside the first block range, and then we're headed back down mm -hmm. because we're mm -hmm. it's it's range. If that makes sense, that makes sense. So it's progression. So as 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 price keeps going higher, we keep laying the blocks, right? Just like, uh, let, let me pull this over. I'm going to pull this over. All right. So this was last night. This this was the blocks last night that I had laid out. So what happened? Price got a, this is a 30 minute chart. Price got above this block. I'm expecting to get to half back first. Then the high. What happened? Failed half back, came back inside of this first block. Double tapped again, can't get above half back of this block. What happened? Mm -hmm. We get a sell signal. Came back inside this range. What happens when we, when it gets back inside this range, we already land the next block. Where are we going? Boom. Did you watch the video from the, from the two years ago that I posted yeah. from the Michelle. one with you and Michelle? Uh -huh. Yes. Go. I'm glad I went back and listened to that video because it, oh my God. This is what inspired this right here for me to start looking at this again because I, I got away from it. But look where we go. Did price get back into here? Right here. Yes. So that means this has to hold. Did it hold? They came into it to the next block, but half back held. Failed. Right here. Failed. This is half back. What happened? Failed. It, it just kept going. The levels kept going. Then what happened down here after one, two, three, four, five blocks? Couldn't get to the low. I, half the, back held. The, but the blocks we got are, clocked. Are, yeah, the blocks, the blocks, especially at clock, is actually. But you need to lay the blocks as price as price is coming down and takes out mm -hmm. this low. That's when you lay the next block. Does price take out the next low? Over here, yes, you, know, yeah. you lay the next block, range block. Did it take out that low? Yes, it did, right there. We lay the next block. What happened right here? Did we take it out? Yes, we lay the next block. Then what happened? Half back held, got above this high, which is this low. This is, you always want to look at the last two blocks because this is high, low, this is half back. Did we get above half back? Look at all the wicks right here in half back on the S. So why in the hell did the reversal signal say it was a buy on the 30 minute? Because you got your magical four wicks down All here. in the wicks. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you thought I was slipping, didn't you? <laughs> and, and this was on NQ. This is not even on ES. This is on NQ. So, There's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse for anybody to not be profitable. That's come no, through my no. room. Period. And honestly, you have to you 
That's like we were talking about the one. And kid. we're getting small, and we're getting small, and I'm fixing to have to. I'm getting ready to get creative. I'm fixing to do something, try to pump the room up. Um, but, but then again, a part of me is like, does everybody even need to know this? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you if you can't do the work and and want to do the work, you know, do I really want to waste my time? You know. And and this is just this is my thought process. It's the work. You got to put the time I, in. If you don't I, put the time in, you're not going to see what I say. I could now. Can no. I call out signals all damn day and you make money? Yes, I've already yeah. proved that. People but have done problem, it in the room. Oh, I've had the biggest day I've ever had in my training career. Yeah, yeah, but can you do it by yourself? And the, this is just me. I, the problem is, like tonight, you were asking me the why. What am I seeing? Yeah. yeah. You remember six months ago, I couldn't even explain it to you. Oh, I know. I know. So. That it's a big to me you're my biggest my biggest student i mean uh you know i go back and look at lori wonder woman you know the former olympian you know supposedly she got you know i don't know for a fact that she she got funded you know 20 accounts you know playing the 6 a.m range you know i, I can only go by what she sent me uh, do, do I think she actually did it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. You, you know what? You can do it. And this is something <clears throat> um, that I'm starting to understand. You have to master either the Asia Open, the Midnight Open. You have to master one of those at clock before you, it's yeah, a reward. To be honest, I think Asia is the true tell, period. If you can learn Asia, because it slows it down where you can actually yes. see it and, and and see the progression and the process. If you can master Asia, you can master all markets. I've always said that. Well, I can go back in the room and I can pull it up and see when the when I started saying that. You know, and, everybody used to go against me like I'm not trading Asia. They ain't no mine. It's slow. I, it's it's slow. slow. I don't. And, yeah. and my my most successful trades with Asia has been where I have uh, just I I know what direction it's going to go. But I does know it give I'm you ten enter. points? That's the question. But did it I give you what it. you wanted? Yeah, I just you know? said in 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 going by my business. Yes, it, it, it's either I'm going to win on it or lose on it. Yeah, and I I control my risk. Yep. So I don't even with that, that that is a no brainer. Yep. And then early on, I was getting ate up with the midnight. And then I just started to really focus on that particular piece and learn mm -hmm. those subtleties. Right. So you know who started saying now the best time to trade is Asia. Guess who guess guess, guess who who's the furu on, on Twitter is now saying Asia is the best setup to trade. Who's been saying that? I see most T. I, I see T just just did it this last week. Yeah, and and <laughs> after I, all these years, he told all of his students to stay away. Yeah, but away here's the thing: him. if you don't know what direction, you know, he blocked me this week too. Yeah, yeah he blocked me this week. Yeah, if you, if I don't you know don't what know, got in. I don't know what what I did to piss in his Cheerios. I guess because I keep saying I'm the machine. He's the ghost, since he said he's the ghost in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why he blocked that you. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but shit. that That's the reason I was telling you, with, with the young kid, Asia Asia's perfect. Because you're able to make some mistakes and recover from those yes, mistakes. Yes, yes. You're going to still be able to make money if you're trading micros. You're still going to make money. It's going to make you feel good. And it's going to give mm -hmm. you confidence, right? Because the bottom line is to be green. But to send him into New York, no, it's like slaughter. No, that's slaughter. That's why I say don't even trade it. You shouldn't even trade New York till London, London closed. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I, I do not mess with New York. The only trade I will take is London closed, and it has to be, it has to be the right setup. If not, well, I don't. I mean, follow. London closed candle. Put a block around it. Gets yeah. above it, we're going. If it gets below it, we're, we're going. Or now, you wait, or it could fake you out, and it sweeps it, and then comes back in, and then and goes will, to the other side. But remember the the scenario of that video from two years ago. If you draw a block around London close, which side gets hit first? If it comes back inside of it, it's headed to the other side. 
period. It's the same technique. Now I'm curious. Now you got me curious. So you see what I'm saying? You draw how? the damn rectangle around the London closed candle. I don't care what time frame you use. Yeah. Whatever side hits first and it comes back inside of it, it's headed to the other side. So Period. can you can you pull up one and try show me what, what you're thinking in regards to that process? Okay, okay. Well, I got the if, chart if right mind. here, right? This is 1030. All right. So here we go. So this is this is on a 30 minute candle, right? Okay. All right. So this is the candle right here. Uh, let me get let me get a rectangle. And I'm going to go with the body since we're on a on a uh, 1030 candle. All right, I'm just going to go with the body. What side got taken out first? Hell, let's just use the wicks. This is even going to make it better. What side gets taken out first on this candle right here? What side gets taken out first? Low side. That's my entry. Once it comes back inside of here, we're headed to here. Low, high. But we already know, we already swept this candle. We shouldn't come back below it. Uh -uh. Bodies. Look, this wick don't even get to the body. Why do I say that London Close is always a buy? Right here. If this side gets swept first of the candle, we're headed up. Mm. Vice versa. If this side gets swept first, we're headed down of London Close. This is the true tale right here. One fucking candle. One. It's the same technique in that video from two years ago. And I'm so glad that I went back and looked at it because now it's... In the, it, it's so important because it shows you, even if you're scalping, I know that if, if this side gets hit first and we come back inside, I know we're headed to here. That's my target. How many points we get? Let's just say it says 57.50, but let's just say let's just say 59. Do we get to the top side? 30. How many points you get? Wow. Off of one can. Yeah, wow. Off of one candle. You got 69 and then you got 631. That's 70 fucking points, Rodney. Mm -hmm. Off of one fucking candle. One scenario. What side got swept? We headed to the other side. And so the box is going on the 1015 candle? 1030. 1030 right candle. 1030. Ah. Look, I've got it triggered right there. That is London closed candle. Hmm. And I'm on a 30 minute. I gave you a higher target on the 30 minute. Now let's go, let's go to a 15 minute. Same scenario. So let's 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 tighten it up. The candle right there. This candle right here is 1030. We got a high, we got a low. Which side gets taken out first? Low uh, side. Low side. 15 minute. How many, how many wicks you got to the bottom side? Four One, lick wick. Four lick. Yep. Four lick wick. Went through it. We head to the other side right here. Target. 31. All right. Let's see what was the low here. Once we get back inside, that's 74. 75 let's say you got 76 you waited till it got got to 76 to take take it 76 to 31 hmm. how many points is that 76 to 31 almost 50, 50 points. points almost 50 points let's say mm -hmm. 50 points on the on the 15 minute all right we can keep going down you know what i'm saying now we can go to a five minute chart. Woo! I know that's crazy. But but you see what I'm saying though? Because that's it's the same thing, but it's gonna give you a tighter target. You're not gonna get the bigger target. So each each candle that you do, all right. So here's come on.
All right, so that's a five minute. Which side gets taken out first? Bottom side. Bottom if you, side. If you wait till it comes back into range, that says 11, let's just say 12. Why? Because we got a four hour app back right here. So let's just say 12 to 29. How many points is that? 17, 17. points. Mm -hmm. Do you get 10? Yep. That's on the five minute. If you just wait. But we know 15 minutes is king in 30, in 30 minutes, even better. If you can, if if you can be disciplined, <laughs> I wait on be, it. I can't be that disciplined. Huh? <laughs> um, the 15, I, I don't got you. I would 15. be. Think about it. Because look, it's the same technique though. You're waiting for it to sweep. Think about it. Right here. You're you're waiting for it to sweep. Which side gets swept first? 30 minutes. Ah, I see what you're saying. You see what and I'm saying? It's the same out. damn thing. It's going to give you a better reward. Which side gets swept first? Low side. Once Low it comes side. back into here, I know we're headed to here. Ain't no fucking if, ands, or buts. Now, can it halfback hold? Yes. So our first target should be halfback. This is our runner. This is our second target. So even wow. from here, let's just say 60, half back is probably somewhere in here. That's 95. That's 35 fucking points. So then, let's see here, you're going. Less than 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30. Less than two hours. Actually less than, because once it sweeps here at 11, 11 to 12, you're out because it just hit high side right there. So you already hit first target and you hit second target in one fucking hour. You're done. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, Less just... risk, but what do we got? We know we got Stingham line to the top side. That is our magnet. Stingham line is always your magnet. Always. Stingham line is always your magnet. Especially if you get below it and it starts snapping back and giving you all these wicks, we're headed to Stingham line. Because that is balance. Got a high, low, halfback. Right here, right here is halfback. It's close to the Stingham line. But guess what? This is already projected as well. You already see this line right here. If, you're, if your screen is on out to, you know, to show the time, this line's already projected from here to here. It's already showing you where we're headed. That's, that's halfback of the day. That's where they want to get to. That's the magnet. Yeah, I'm just playing with it now on mine. I'm like, that is pretty. But what does it go back to? The one fucking candle that I already said. If you trade the one candle at clock or whatever time you put your ass in the chair, it's the same damn technique. Mm -hmm. Which side gets swept first? <laughs> and if it comes back inside range. Got swept, came back inside. Right here, the, the reversal script even tells you to buy it. Why? Because we're inside the damn range. They're going to try to get to here. That was the last sell signal. Price is going to try to get here. This candle right here, this is the sell candle right here. Why? Well, how do I know that? Because the fucking reversal says it's a sell. This is the last candle they're trying to get to. They're trying to get to the low of that candle right there, right there, that four hour half back. Of course, I'm on NQ. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, too. I'm okay, on but, but if you watch the video from two years ago with Michelle, what, what was the key thing that she kept saying? We're going to Asia Open. Look, Asia Open, where they headed? Fucking Asia Open. If you go back and watch the video, she kept saying, I keep saying, where we head? She said, Asia open, Asia open, Asia open, Asia open. The video don't lie. 
No, I'm. I'm that's just what like, I love about it. I, and and again, I'm glad that I went back and rewatch it. Every time I go back and watch a a video that that we've recorded, I always I always get something else out of it. Every damn time I watch it. And I'm seeing what you're saying, especially if you're doing the one candle, and you put your box on that candle. Mm -hmm. Drop your fib on it. Uh huh. I don't even have to drop the fib on it because I know if we get a price gets above it. Right here it did. That's when I laid the next block. Okay, I keyed on this candle right here. It was 1430 candle. You know, I'm doing something a little different off of the 1445. And the reason why I did, because this this candle is what broke this high right here. Mm -hmm. So I started, I wanted to see, okay, I'm going to do it on this candle because it broke the high. So I want to see what we do. And you see it right here. I'm not hiding anything from you. It's the same chart I posted in the room and I posted on Twitter tonight. Let's see how the confluence is. You know, we're trying to get to this four hour half act. We're trying to get to the Asia open the previous day. Why would Asia want to try to get to here? Because they're underwater. New York sold it. They're underwater. So they're trying to get back. Right? Asia bought it over here. They're underwater. So they're trying to get back to their open price. To mitigate. Now you see what I'm saying? Every trader that went long right now is underwater. So they're forced to start <laughs> buying and buying and adding to their position to get where? Get back to this fucking candle. Right here. They're trying to get back to this candle, at least to here. That one candle. Then here's the body. And then here's Asia open. So this is our target. Top side is our target. Hmm. Yeah, Dob, it's, it's much more so, clean. On so we curve. already know to continue up, this high has to hold to continue up, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This high fails, then we're headed down. Headed down. Why? Because we got a low, we got a high, right. we got a half back. Why am I considering this as the high? Because price came out of this fucking range and printed. So they are, it already showed me they want to go higher, right? So that's why I put the block to the top side. So now we have a low, we have a high, we have a halfback. What do I say? Halfback at clock, what is progression? Low, high, high halfback. halfback. We expect this level to hold at clock take it out mm -hmm. we got what 40 minutes to clock so what are they doing they're dicking around here at halfback why because we know low high halfback but we do know if halfback fails and price comes back inside by clock then we're probably headed back down but where are we going mm -hmm. back down to half back we're still above previous day half back so until we break this we this is our this trumps everything so we know that we have to hold here to continue higher period can they pull back to here absolutely why because we're in a low high half back sweet sweet wow Every time we do something like this, I, I learn something totally <laughs> new that I'm able. You know me, I I be right. I be right. testing shit. You know what I be doing yep. tomorrow? Because I, I like. It's funny, you know. You have showed me. But the, if you uh, go back to the video from two years ago, right? These blocks right here is is Michelle's clock that I put in the video of this one hour from eighteen. From 18 to 19, the high and low, which side gets taken out first? The low side did. We expected to come back inside and head back to the other side, but it didn't happen right here. What did price do? It kept failing. That's you see why I kept laying the block? Laying the block. If you yeah. go back looking into the video, I said we shouldn't go past three fucking blocks off of this range right here. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Reversed at three blocks. So where are we going? We already know we swept this low side. We should be headed to here. 
They're trying to get there. We've got awful fucking close. close. Yeah. This is Michelle's setup right here at her clock. What I've laid on this on this chart right here. That yeah. we went over in that video two years ago. Now, isn't it amazing it's still working today? It still works. But that's just like when you showed us how to do the uh, the 6 a.m. with the blocks. Uh-huh. It's the same thing. It's the same yeah. thing just using that one. If you candle. be patient long enough, it'll hit what, what it right. needs to hit. So now let's look at 6 a.m. Where's our 6 a.m.? Right here. We had a high, the 6 a.m. candle right here. Mm-hmm. We had a high, we had a low. That's half back. Remember what I said about the 6 a.m.? Are we above half back at 6 a.m. right now? Look what they did. They swept it, came back through it. Now we're above it. What did New York do right here at 6 a.m. half back? You don't think you don't think this damn candle right here is important? Right here. Right here. Look at all these fucking wicks at half back, the 6 a.m. candle. You don't think 6 a.m. is important? Because we know to be a buy, we have to be above 6 a.m. half back to be a buy in New York. But look what happened. 12 noon clock, right? 12 noon clock. You got a low, high. This is half back. Twelve noon. This was the high. Where the hell's half back? We went right to it. Bam. Took all the wicks. Low high half back. What happened? Swept. Well, swept. Thirteen forty-five candle. Yeah, I'm, I'm like thinking, was that one, that might was Wonder Woman that was doing the, who was doing the 6 a.m.? It was Charles. Wonder Woman. It was Wonder Woman. So, she she um, got 20 Apex PA accounts. She passed 20 of them. And showed me proof of that. And then once she learned what she wanted to learn for free, she left. And that's what people do. I mean, most people that have money, they tight. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to pay for nothing. They and that's another thing. This this free shit that everybody's spreading on on social media, they think just because it's everything should be free. No, everything no. shouldn't be free. No, and this is what I realized. No, everything people, shouldn't be free. If people pay, they will value it more. That's right. Yep. I remember when you were saying we had talked and you was like, well, I'm going to start charging. I was like, you should have been charging a long time ago. Yeah, yeah you did say that. You did say that. I, I was like, I, I mean, even if it's 30, 40, 50 dollars. Right. It's just a thought of them yep. paying for it. Yeah. They're going to value it more compared right. to free. I, you know, I mean, free is for freeloaders. And, they, and, and the value is not reciprocated. Right. Now, will some of them get it for free? Yes, yeah, some, but there's going to be very few. Yeah, but usually when you offer something free, you have so many people in there that drain you. Yeah. It, it's not, it, not, it's usually not the people that you really want to work with to yep. grow. Yeah. Because the type of conversations we have now are much more of. Oh, our conversations are deep. And a lot of people don't understand that. Well, but I mean, you don't. It's not deep. It's simple, but I mean, it can be deep. I mean, I mean, I think it's deep. Well, it's deep people in that sense, don't understand it. Yeah, but it's deep in a sense of, I mean, honestly, six months ago, I couldn't even tell you about the clues and how to stack them for Asia Open. Uh, for and definitely, you know, Midnight Open when you see right. my ass. I, right. I got so, and then London Close. That was just horrible. When I that that was that's when I was like, <laughs> and he told me if you're gonna do New York, don't deal with that 9 a.m. all that other stuff in there because it's extremely volatile. It's stupid. Deal There's with no the sense into it. 
Right. There ain't no sense in it. And now I'm able to, I'm comfortable enough. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with, uh, you know, I set, I set the damn London clothes and go. I don't, I don't, either it's going to be a win or a loss. And if, yep. I, if I, if I lose on it, I always turn it in a way to improve. Right. Like, I mean, like today, I mean, that was my bad. I, the, the bodies, the bodies didn't touch. Right. I, I, you know, I, and you have been getting on me for the longest about just trace chasing those damn wicks. And luckily I got in it and was like, Oh, but here's another thing you could, you can uh, get some data. How many points did it pull back into that 1030 candle though? How, How many points did it sweep by? Because that's where you need to start watching too, because you can like, don't necessarily have to put your buy at the 1030 low candle. If the average is, it pulls back five points. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my buy signal at five points below it. If it gets hit, it gets hit. Then if I miss it, I miss it. Yes. You know, but that's that's where the data comes in that I'm talking about. If somebody's actually doing the work in, in trying to turn a loser into a winner, what I just said turns a loser into a winner. Oh yeah, yeah. I, and and that's remember, how I've always looked at my back testing. I, if that, I lost, I want to know what I could have done to made it a win. Period. But I, I mean, that's where you came up with that. I think it was seven points. Mm-hmm. And we well, just myself. played. We played with right. the MES. Right. And we right. did the seven point rule. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, and then you was like, "Hey, start finding out when it's going to turn." So you're able to measure your risk if it's yeah. five points or, you know, and then, then you start going, okay, if it's five points, that's where I'm going to be at. You know, seven right. might be too much. And it's just like, remember I said the the range of ES on age is 10 points. So if we know we only go up five points, then we're, we're likely to go down 10. Yeah. And then bounce five. Yep. I mean, it's, or if it goes up 10, I know it's going to pull back five. Five. Mm-hmm. Or it could pull back 10, or it could pull back 15. Then I know it could go up 10. If it but pulls back 15, you know, yeah. and it's just, that's the probability on the math side. And that's just because of data. Yeah. You know, I know that because of data on the ES. Now, in Q, I'm still playing with that on how, how you know, the points on MQ. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Because, you know, I've only been trading her since February this year, but I'm getting better. I'm getting it. And now, and now John's starting to trade in uh MNQ now. He's done come off the ES. And he was he said, I'm not trading, I'm not gonna trade it. And I told him I kept pushing him, I said, dude, you're gonna make more if you're scalping, you're gonna make more money trading yeah. trade the MNQ. I, I, for how period. for how for how he trades. He can make the a N- shit ton. He could double NQ, what he's making. Yeah, the NQ is ideal for him. Yeah, that was made for him. And micros, that's fine with micros. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with micros. Nothing, nothing wrong with micros. Can you make a decent amount of money with micros? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But you see right here, we're already this candle closed inside this frame. So what am I expecting? I'm expecting half back first target. But I know from my back testing, I know this target is more than likely going to hit, period. So that's why I'm confident. I ain't worried about this half back. I'm, this is my target. Yeah, so I'm headed problem. with it. And that's wow. because of my screen time and my back testing. But to actually teach it, our first target is half back. You, you go through the progression. Slow, 50 to 50. What's 50? 50's here, we headed to 50. This 50 hose, we're headed to this 50. Mm -hmm. 50 to 50, that's why I use that term because if this 50 don't hold, then we know we're coming back. More likely we're coming back down to this 50. (laughs) Yeah, yep. I mean, I mean, I laugh, but that's just from screen time. I mean, and that stuff is hard to teach, but yet I'm using terminology that they should be catching on to. That's why I say 50 to 50, 50 to 50, 50 to 50. Oh, it don't go to 50. Oh, this 50 fails and we're headed to this 50. Oh, mm-hmm. this 50 fails. We're headed to this 50. This 50 fails. We're headed to this 50. 
this 50 hoes, we're here to this 50. I mean, that's all it is. It's where where is price at time within our range? That's what it's all about. And I don't care what range you use. I'm proving it right here. I'm, I'm using the range right here that I don't normally use. This is a 1430 candle. I don't use that damn candle. But the only reason why I took this candle because it took out this high right here at the end of the day. This whole rotation, this candle is the one that took out the high. You follow me on that? Mm -hmm. That is why I put the range on that candle. On so that I, I might be finessing it here. It might not be 1445. It might be the candle that takes out the high. I don't know. I don't know which one's going to be more consistent. Probably 1445. Because I know that motherfucker's consistent. Yes. It's 1430. I don't know if that's going to be consistent, but I know today it took out this high. So that's what I'm keying on right now. I want to see if we hit this target. That's a smart way to look at it. Though. That's it what I'm testing. High. Right. That's what I'm testing. But if you do it on the 1445, it's probably it's all still going to be the damn same, right? Because it shouldn't matter what candle you use because it should all be in sync if we're in the right rotation. That's where I'm going with that. At clock. Wow. It shouldn't matter what candle you take. It's going to put you in the right direction. Think about it. If trend is trend, I'm just talking about retail mentality. If trend is trend, it shouldn't matter what time frame you use and what candle you take. It should still present itself. Low, high, half back sweep. Period. If, if it's going up, if it's if it's going down, it should be a high, low, half back sweep. Mm -hmm. If that is trend, I don't care what time frame you use, that should be the case. That's how you know you are in sync. That's how you can finesse your entries on the five minute, one minute, 15 seconds. And that's another thing. God damn it. I see T talking about fucking wearing Patrick Whelan out that there is no such thing as a 15 minute breakout. Hmm. Dude, our whole concept is on a 15 minute time frame, right? My whole concept is based on the 15 minute time frame. But he trades a 15 second chart. I don't know now, how. Now, 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 how can ICT take a 15 second chart and be able to take a breakout on a 15 second if there's no such thing as a 15 minute breakout? Why is he trading breakout on a 15 second? Because it's the same fucking thing. That's why. Wow. But yet, that's what I'm saying. They say one thing. But they go back and do something else. They go back and do something fucking else, and they just disqualified everything that they fucking said. <laughs> it tells me they're a goddamn moron. Yeah, that's, that's that's what a lot of folks have been saying about um, ICT. Look at ES climbing. ES trying to get to that high. Why? 1445 candle came back inside of it. Where are they going? Going to the high side. Yeah. 1445 candle. Swept it up. Area 51 held on the bo bottom side. Where are we more than likely going? We're going to area 51 top side. Top side. Mm -hmm. 5705. I mean, it's like clockwork. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I'm just, uh, wow. Yes, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, tomorrow I'll start, I would back to test that, that, uh, I like that London clothes on the 30 minutes. Just see how that's gonna work. London clothes on a 30 minute? Mm hmm. This one right here? Yep. I <laughs> like that. I get swept first? Yeah. All right, swept this side. Does it come back inside range? Yep. Now I'm headed to halfback, mm -hmm. and I'm heading to top side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because right. th think about it. Trend is down, right? 
Uh huh. So if trend is down, we shouldn't have broke broke this candle. Price should have stayed inside and went back to here, then felt. You see where I'm going with that? Yeah. Why? Because this come on. This candle right here broke. So this is structure. This candle broke structure. What I say, this is our buy zone. What is our sell zone? This is our sell zone. Of the 100% move, this is buy zone. Zero to 25 is buy. 100 to 75 is sell. So what are they doing? Right here. So we should have been in a high, low, half back, back. sweep. But what, what, what the fuck happened? It went top side. Well, why did it do that? Because we already knew right here. They gave the clue. Once they come back inside the range, we're they to told you it was going to be long. Yeah. I already know the misdirection. See, that's the thing. That's what. That's the part that's hard to to teach is the misdirection. And right there is the misdirection. Why? Because we. This is trend, right? We're trending down. Mm -hmm. High, low. low. Half back, Half back, what's supposed to happen? Didn't happen. Why did it not happen? Because we came out of the rent, the 1030 candle range, we inside of it and halfback held right here. Look at the wick. Did half back hold? Long extended wick, it held. Candle opens, is candle above half back right here? It's above. It's a go. It's over with. We already know that because it came back inside the range right here. We know if we come back in, we're headed here. But it did hit it here. It did hit target right here, but it continued. Low, high, half back, four hour half back. Could get there. Sweet. Right here is a four hour. The purple line right there is a four hour. Now I use that faithfully now. I got the four hour half back on my charts. But four hour is not four hour is not clean. And I, I don't know I don't know how to explain it with what I just said. But if you use it in conjunction with time, it is clean. But if you don't use it with time, it, it can mess you up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it can fake you out because they could come through here and then come up through here. But like I said, with this clock candle, that's why it's so important with the, the candle on clocks. That's why I've already did the data. That's why I give you guys the main clocks. There are main clocks. And those are the ones that I've back tested and come up with the ones that are actually true main clocks. Not every now, can you trade every clock? Yeah, absolutely. But there are more accurate clocks than others. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. No, and it those doesn't. are the and those are the clocks that I've given y'all off of my back test. Now, can and, there be more clocks? Absolutely. And each clock has its own subtleties. Right, and that's just like the eighteen, the eighteen, uh, eighteen to nineteen, the one hour on Asia Open, from eighteen hundred to nineteen hundred. It's in that video from two years ago. That is one range clock range that is still proven to be correct. So that I already know that clock. We already knew that clock's important anyway, right? The eighteen hundred candle. I already knew that six to seven that 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 candle is very important and that's on a one hour rodney that is on a one hour fucking chart in that video one hour the higher the time frame the more higher likely it's going to work 
All so right. that's the reason why the 30 works a little bit better than the 15. Right? All right, so look at, let's look at the 1030 candle. We can, we can even do it on 1030, 10. Let's, let's just do 10. All right, let's do 10 to 11. It's going to give you something different if you look at it that way on the one hour. See, that's why I say, so if you look at 10 o'clock from here, well, this is a high and low from 10 to 11, which is going to be here. So you're using the 10 o'clock candle. So what happened? It's the same technique, low, high, high. Half, back half back of this can, 10 o'clock candle, sweet. So we swept this high. That means that high has to hold. Look where we're at right here. Where's the buy signal on that candle? And using the range block, of the 1430 that I use to take out this damn high right here. Look, is that out the bottom of the range block? Yeah. It's crazy. That, that's how I know that I'm in sync. Because yeah, yeah, it, I, it, it lines up, it matches up. Oh yeah. So if anybody, I know this is a lot for people. Yeah, it is. But. The one thing I highly recommend is just take, take a, take. I would try to trade on the clocks that I recommend. I mean, yeah, stick to the clocks. Stick and to the clocks. Now, can find, you trade a previous candle when you put your ass in the chair? Yes, absolutely. It's going to put you on the right side. Yeah. It's like this and candle right here. Blocks. We take this candle right here. Low, high. Are we above half back? Does it get there? No. Do we get above the high here? Yes. Go. Mm hmm. Same thing on this candle, low, high, half back. What did it do? They swept it high of this. That's what it's supposed to do. Low, high, half back sweeps the high. This candle, low, high, half back. Uh-uh. It starts failing right here. Yeah, I already told you right here that we're, okay, so we're failing, so that means but price did come back above it. So that means this low is very important. Why? Because it swept it, came back into it. See why I got a marker on it? That green line right there? Wow, okay, yep. Because it swept it, got above it. So that means that this low should hold. Is this low holding? Going into Asia. Midnight, is it holding? Low, high, this is half back. Right here, it's 50%. Woof, a lot to think about. Mm-hmm. Buddy Doc, let me get ready to wind down so I can, because that like I said, I've been hit, I got hit with that cobra and I am drained. My body just I, dropped. I hear on you, me. brother. I hear you. But I'm glad you did this because I learned. I learned um, definitely with that one candle. I will definitely play with that. Um, and definitely thanks for giving me the feedback on the uh, on the 1445 candle. And reading that definitely, you know, focusing much more on the body, making sure right. the body sweep. Yeah, compared to just the wicks, um, that's where it becomes extremely important to look at the close of the candles. Yeah, very important. All about the close. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And definitely, I'm gonna start working on uh, putting the boxes. Actually, going back to the to the basics and leveraging the boxes, because that would definitely help with. Uh, yeah, ten thirty. Definitely on ten thirty on thirty. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean, I can tell you now, tomorrow I'm going to actually try that on the 10 Because look at the bodies. The bodies don't get below half back. And you said put it on a 30 minute instead of the 15? I would. I would. Okay. Just see. Try just, just try it. It's going to give you a bigger target. Okay. So, so if, I mean, if, like I said, I mean, I got some good takeaways. So I definitely appreciate you for taking now, the time. Can you do it on 15? Absolutely. Can you do it on 30? Absolutely. But that might be the reason. I, I know. Like with a lot of John charts, they've been on the 30. 
So that might have answered that question or reason why he's leveraging the 30 more than the 15. It's going to give you a better target. It's going to give mm -hmm. you a deeper target. Okay. Right? So the higher the time frame is going to give you a bigger target. Okay. Think of it like that. So but I, we I already know 15 minute is keen because we know that it's going to definitely hit target on the 15 minute. Yes. It may not hit a target on a 30. But we know that that's why I say the 15 minute is keen because it is most accurate. Remember when I go okay. back and say that about being accurate. <clears throat> but this could be a good test on 30 minute on London Close because I've never tested it. Okay. So I, I test, I start testing. You see what I'm saying? Because it may be that it could be a high strike rate on the 30 minute. Okay. On London Close on that particular clock. Yes. And that's the thing I'm really realizing. Mm -hmm. May not do it on an Asia clock 30 minute, but it may do it on a London Close 30 minute. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. the back testing that you got to play with. And it's so funny you said it because I'm thinking, and it's just me thinking out loud. I, that 15, you have dialed it in so well mm -hmm. with the fibs and everything. I, I think on that 1445, you almost have to stick with the 15. Yes. Now, on the London close piece. It could be a 30. I don't know. I've not really looked at it. It may end up being a 30 because remember, you have some extremely big wicks around that time. Mm-hmm. And if we leverage it and smooth, the 30 is probably going to smooth that out. So I'm I'm almost open to say that 30 is probably going to work a little bit better on doing on that time period. Right. Because I mean, you know, even with it being on a 30 now, you still see those long, long wicks. So I can't imagine how it looks on the 15. Right. But I know for me, the biggest Thing, the biggest problem I had with the 15 on that London close, it would be some crazy long wicks. Yep. Yep. And so before I would, I when it when it have those extremely long wicks like that, I would pass on it. Where well, now I'm interested, I will definitely back test that 30 because I think for that yep. time period, it'll give us better results. So are you still trading the ES? You ain't made the switch yet? Uh, -uh no. Still trading the ES. I'm still trading the ES. Yeah. And guess what? Guess where we are right now? We're at the high, banging at the high on that 1445 candle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'll, I'll make the move. I, I, I'm, you know, because we're trying to, uh, like for me, I'm still getting comfortable with that price action read. Right. The sweeps, the reclaims. Right. The whole. Oh, the I, reclaim I mean, I, is probably the most important. The sweep and reclaim is probably the most important. That's how you know when you've made the turn. Yes. And so understand it's, it's you know, math, to master that, because like, I mean, I, I was looking, I don't think I, um, it might was even today on, like I said, I mean, on, on the, uh, on just to understand that 1445, um, the interaction between the 1430 and the 1445 candle, it didn't, the bodies didn't truly sweep. I could easily look at the clothes. I really want to focus on the clothes and the body. I go back to charting, just taking the time to look those charts and back test and make notes on them. And that's the thing I've been really doing more of now. Now, as you notice with my write-ups, they're, they're starting to become much more detailed. Right. What's sweeping? Right what's making the decision compared to how they were 60 days ago. Right. And you know, that's because I was like, I want to know the why, because if you ask me why I'm able to tell you it was this candle that helped make that decision. Right. Compared to I'm thinking that it was this and I don't have no clues to it. And then the other piece is just taking the time to, to stack the deck. Let's come up with four or five clues to verify my thesis, to support my thesis more or less. Right, right. Because I mean, you give you give a boatload of clues. Oh, there's a boatload of clues, but do you need them? I mean, technically, you only need one, right? Yes. I mean, but technically, for for in your mind, the more that you've got, the better off you are. 
Yeah, and so that's the reason why. I mean, I I, I take the time now when I'm doing my my plan. It's very similar to a, a thesis. Right. And I put those supporting characters to so validate maybe, that. Thesis. So maybe one trader needs two 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 uh, variables. Somebody might need five. Your yourself may need ten. Mm -hmm. To validate the truth. Yeah, and a lot of that is just because I come from a compliance background. Right. Right. So it's like, yeah. But do you is, need them all though? That's no, the thing. So no. it's it's more of a comfort zone. It's comfort, and it's more of if you ask me the why, I'm able to tell you the why, but right. I'm also able to provide support. Sure. Or if it's it, you know if it's not you if it, if it's somebody yeah. that knew that coming in a group okay well Rodney why did you take this trade right I'm able to take the time to explain okay this is what my thought process was is based upon what Dobby was telling me his thought process is and I just turned back around and provided some supporting characters right and those are the clues. But I always give what both sides scenario. Oh right? yeah. If if it does this, we're headed here. But if this fails, we're headed here, and that's that's based on the high low happen. And it's based upon taking the time to plan because if you don't sure. plan for your money, the no. market is going to plan to take it. Yo, you know that it's going to take it. Yeah, I, you don't know I, what I, the hell's going on. It's definitely going to take it. Yeah. Yeah, and so I mean that's where I'm. I'm like, hey, I want to, I want to find the subtleties. The subtleties, like you were telling me, those little details the make stuff a that world. nobody looks at. Yeah, no, the stuff that nobody no. pays attention to. Because I know for me, this month, and if you go back and look at my write-ups two months ago, you'll see the turn. You'll see me turning. Mm -hmm. And making a change and going much more detail and thinking through it even much more but right. now i understand the clues and how to use those you know to 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 get me to the confidence to where okay you know what i'm okay with going in with two or three yeses because i know it's going to work right right how's michelle doing she doing she getting better oh yeah she she does that um she is she's doing nq but she's really? doing that yeah she's doing she's doing nq she's okay she's a count and her she, she likes the um that 9 a.m reversal oh she's still doing the night she's doing new york yes yeah she, yeah she got that down to a sign she ain't stuff. doing the uh 18 the 1800 time no more no she does that she does the, both of those oh okay and you know, because like it just depends upon how her day is shaping up. Because she used to get frustrated that she couldn't catch the 9 a.m. reversal, but she's like, I spent a lot of time with Dobby on this 1800. <laughs> but nine o'clock is good too, because today on the ES, if she's trading the ES, nine o'clock was up to high. Yeah. So that was she'll, a total sell on the 9 a.m. candle. Yeah. And so she'll, she, those two because I was telling I was like so is she trading ES or, or just strictly no NQ now? she's doing the NQ let me look at NQ nine o'clock because I'm I'm looking at uh yeah she, she her thing is the NQ she doesn't uh -huh. she don't mess around with the ES it's just like she liked it but if she's using 6 a.m candle 9 a.m was half but pretty close but that whole move from 6 a.m in the New York 9 a.m candle was half a mm-hmm on Stangham line right here. Look at the wicks on Stangham line. We're below, mm. look, we're below. What I say is the draw. Your entry's here. Why? High, low, low. it's half back. Back, yep. Right here, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock couldn't even take out the 8.30 high, New York Open. We're not taking out the high on New York Open. We're definitely at the downside. But then again, if you, you what candle should we be using if we are going to trade New York? 8.30 candle. You're waiting. Which side gets taken out first? This side. Where are we going? This fucking side. Didn't get there by end of day. They tried to. But guess where we are now? They hit it. Also, you're thinking on, on that 8.30? That's New dropped. York candle. Yeah. 
Now I'm on the 30 minute. So now let's drop it on the 15. I really get excited. Uh, this is probably even going to look better. Probably going to look better. Oh, yeah. It's going to look a lot better. Yeah, that, that 15 now After for that. Eight, now look. Now look. Which side gets taken out first? This is her. This is her trade right here. Eight forty-five, oh, nine o'clock. Top side get hit top first. Side. Where are we headed? Bottom side. Bottom now, side. Now, oh. do, now, do I just showed you what is? Why do I say fifteen minute can, candle is fucking king? I just proved it right here. Yeah. Yep. Because thirty minute went the opposite, but fifteen minute was true story. Then look, look where, look, look at Stangle Mine. Can't get there. Came back inside a range of the 830 candle print. Where are we headed? Headed to here. How do I know that? Because of the video that we fucking posted two years ago. So what now hit? where's the, the fib? Do the fib go on the 830 candle? I didn't even put a can I didn't even put no fibs. I just put a rectangle on the one with candle. Which side gets taken out first? This side comes back inside of this block. Where are we headed? Here. I didn't put no fibs. Wow. No fibs. One candle. Right here. I drew a block on this 830 candle oh. print. What side gets taken out first? This side. So Does top it come side back inside the range? Out. Does it come back inside range? Yes. Yep. Once it comes back inside range, we're headed to here. Did we hit it? It's the same thing on the damn video. Nothing so, changes. So on that, where would the entry be at? The entry as soon as price comes back inside here, right here, this candle closed above here. This candle here came inside range. Once we oh. come inside range, once price gets through it, you pulling the trigger right here. All right. If you pull the trigger at, let's just say that price is 76, 71. Let's just say you got 76. All right. So what's the high side of that candle? 94. So you got a little bit of heat on that. If you wait. But if you waited, it's probably not pulling back. Once it comes inside this range, it should keep going. The only way I know that, we need to go down to a, a smaller time frame to see if that's what actually happens. Right? So let's go down to a five minute. Five minute. <clears throat> right oh, here. I see what you're saying. Five minute, but we laid it on. The 15 minute chart. So now we're looking at the five minute. So what, what was our heat? 76. It went up to 93. But this candle right here, once this candle closed, they are once this can if this candle closed, this candle opens inside of this range. Here you go. It's a perfect example right there. This candle. Once this candle closes inside and this candle opens inside, this is th that's actually that's your, probably your that's better entry. Time. But look where we're at. Stangham line. Even on a five minute. But we laid it out on a 15 minute, but we're waiting for that five minute to close inside. So once we close inside, that's 67. What's this down here? Fucking all, over 100 points. Wow. Uh, I, 100 points on that fucking move right there. Just knowing, knowing that we know that when we come inside of this candle range, we're headed to here. This is a 15 minute block that I laid out. We took it down into a five minute. Oh yeah, dog. Because we want to see what what what's transpiring. Look. Look at all the wicks. They're getting above it, they're getting above it, they're getting above it, they're getting above it. But this candle right here, let's see what the close of this candle was. 66.50. This candle right here was 66.50. Well, hell, they all probably, no, that's 88. Okay. This candle right here is the one that tells you the story. Because look up here on the close. 66.50. 66.50 is right here. Mm-hmm. And so once that candle closed inside range, we know it's a go. Boom. Where are we headed? To the bottom side. To the bottom 100 side. 100 point fucking move. 
one ES would have made you a thousand dollars. So basically, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, no, a hundred points. I, I, no, 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 no. Five hundred times ten. That'd been five thousand dollars on one contract. Wow. One contract, five thousand dollars. Okay, so I'll play with. No, that. we're on NQ, NQ, NQ. I'm sorry, NQ. We're on NQ, so I don't want to misrepresent. So that's two hundred dollars for every ten points, and that's so that's, that's ten. That would have been two thousand dollars move on one one contract. Yeah, but that's from hang on now, let's see what time it is. From nine twenty. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, Ten minutes. Two thousand dollars. Right. Ten minutes. I like. I. Yeah, I'm gonna play with that one candle. So I I will play with the fifteen, and uh, I'll play with the fifteen and the thirty. But I, that fifteen, I'm seeing. Look how it works on that um, on the NQ at the eight thirty. That looks much more cleaner than the, the uh, than it being on the thirty. Oh, it was definitely thirty minute was the opposite. Yeah, the thirty the thirty minute told us a, a di different story. It told us that the low side got swept first, mm -hmm. then then it then it tried to get get to the high side. Now, does it still work the same way if you waited? Yeah, it still told you to to buy the low and sell the high. It just See, that's the difference in the time frame. Yes. But look how much long you would have had to help hold. Look, we're we're talking 930 to up here. That's a long time from 930 to 1450 versus I, 10 fucking minutes. I, I get my 10 minutes. points. I take those 10 points and crown the recap. Keep it moving. <laughs> If I'm trading the ES, I will take the 10 and I'm crown the I'm going to take 100 recap. points in NQ yeah. in 10 yeah. minutes. You damn and right I would. Yeah, and crown the recap. Keep it moving. Because <laughs> 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 I remember yeah. I used to dwell upon that and go like, oh, how much money I gave up. But then I go, you know what? Thank God for the little money that I did, man. But you know what? That's where the greed comes in. That's yes. where the greed comes in. <laughs> And that, that become the master, you blowing up your PA. <laughs> but that's why I say everything that I've ever tested, the damn 15 minute is the most. That's why I, I, I can't get away from the 15 minute. Okay. You know, am so, I looking at other stuff, time frames? Absolutely. But, you know. I, I think it, for for beginners, definitely stick with the 15. 15 minute is king. Yeah, you're not to learn taken the out first. Yeah. yeah what stick, gets taken stick out to the first? 15. Yeah. This side, because what I've been doing now, I I still use the I have my, I mark up everything on the fifteen. I have my fifteen up and I have my three up, my three minute chart. I I still keep it the same way that I came in on. I have that three and that fifteen, and I use the the uh, three for the entries. Right. And fifteen tells me how how long I can stay in it. Yep. And I just I try my best to simplify. It. But if you watch the video, I talk about pin bars. So if you if if you look at the pin bar, it told you exactly where the entry was. Yeah. Right there. It gave you, I mean, you could have dialed it in at 93 and the high was 94.25. So you could have dialed it in with over just a little less than a, a 1.5 heat <coughs> just off of that pin bar right there. That's, that's another golden nugget. That's another golden. Yep, that's another golden ticket. Please. Yeah. So, so tomorrow I definitely I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the uh, I play with the 15. See how that looks at on that London close, and then um, you can look at it on the 8:30 candle. Okay. I'm, I'm now you because it's going to work the same. But but look but look how long it took. That's why I say don't trade New York open. But look how long it took. Mm-hmm. You know, nine o'clock. She's trading nine o'clock. That that shows you right there. And look, that nine o'clock at Pinball. This is the video. This is the video that I just posted from two years ago. 
It don't get no better than that. Mm-mm. It told you where they were going. And then Doc, I would have took, took pulled the trigger and took a stab at it. Yeah. And you're you're right in a sense. Um, and we're below you, Stangle line. You you could leverage because I just marked. I took that one candle, and I put. It's about have, knowing when to pull the trigger on fucking pound it, and that mm-hmm. right there was a pound trade, <clears throat> a pound it. That was a pound trade right there. Yes, sir, Bob. With less heat, the most less heat, that entry right there at pin bar, the most less heat, and you get triggered, and it's fucking massive payday. Oof. Yeah. But hey, Dob, let me give me a little rest. I got you, brother. Control. So I will I will touch base with you tomorrow, man. Sounds good. Sounds Thank good, you. Brother. I appreciate, appreciate you. You appreciate it. try to get you some rest. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'll be up a few more hours. <laughs> I can tell this makes you excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. When I went back and at, watched that video, I was like, fuck, man. You're talking about gold nuggets. So it had, I mean, it had to jar my memory a little bit, you know, because I got, I mean, I got away from it. I didn't stick to it either. I said, I need to go back looking at that. I need to go back but looking at it. There are so many nuggets. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how you can remember all. Like, and this is just me. <laughs> I mean, I, I go, I'm, I'm good with Asia because I did it for a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm getting good with, with Midnight. I added the London clothes piece. Yes. Um, Next one's London Open. Yeah, the, and I don't that's even the really, same thing. But I, you I do the same thing, Roddy. Lay it on the fit the 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 London Open candle. You wait. It's the same. It's the same yeah, I thing. I Which side really, gets taken out first? Yeah, I haven't really looked at the London Open or the the. Um, I played the six a.m. with fifty fifty results. Um, but I am going to try to. I, I will put the box on the 8.30 and the London clothes. I might even put it on the the 6 a.m. But I'm, I'm I, I, yeah, sometimes it's best to go back to the basics. Yep. So, hey man, That's thank you. Is. I appreciate you. I'll touch All base right, with man. you tomorrow. All appreciate right, you get some rest. Take care. Bye-bye.